welcome to Empower In. My name is Caroline Porter Thomas. Thank you so much for watching. So one question that I get all the time is why I decided to become a nurse. So I wanted to share with you a few things that helped me make the decision to take those final steps and to get through all of the hard work that it takes to become a nurse. So first thing that I want to share with you is that I had absolutely no idea whatsoever what I wanted to do after high school. In fact, from high school to college, I took a five year break. I worked really hard that time. I traveled to like seven or eight different countries. I had a great time. But after about five years of just not knowing what to do or what I wanted to do, um, I decided that I really wanted to go back to college and earn a college degree and make my parents proud. So when I started my prerequisite classes, I was working as a waitress. And I loved the fast-paced environment. I love making my customers happy. I love putting smiles on people's faces. I love interacting with people, talking with people, and just being around people all day in such a stimulating environment. But I hated the fact that, you know, you have to work nights and weekends. You have to work late hours. I'm kind of a morning person. So for me to have to stay up late every night just wasn't ideal. And I just couldn't see myself doing that for the next 30 to 40 years. So I thought nursing was actually pretty similar to waitressing to me. Because <laughs> um, it was, uh, I would be working with people, I would be helping people feel better, um, making people happy. I could do that on the job. It would be fast paced, it would be very stimulating. And I really saw a lot of um, things that I looked for in a career that had to do with nursing. So I, without thinking about it too much, I just said, you know, I'm just going to try it. And um, had I really known how hard it was, I probably would have rethought about it. Um, I didn't realize how hard nursing school was and how hard the prerequisite classes were. I had no idea. The other thing that I really liked about nursing was that it was three days a week. I could not get over that three days on and four days off. So the way I saw nursing was, well, I could do this on, you know, this could be like my bread and butter and I could do something else on the side because I had actually more days off than I would be working. So that was something that I really thought was amazing and I still think is amazing. I mean, I know a lot of nurses that work four days, not every week, but like some weeks, and it's not that hard. So, and that extra day is a time and a half. So I just saw a lot of flexibility with it and I still see a lot of flexibility with it. <laughs> the other thing that I really liked was the outlook of nursing. The outlook compared to other jobs seemed a lot more promising. Um, I still think about it today and even though there are some people that are saying that nursing is slowing down a bit, I don't think that that is going to be forever because we have the baby boom generation that you know in the next 20 to 30 years is going to need a lot of care, actually probably in the next 10 years. Um, and so I really see healthcare as being one of the safest routes, I mean nothing safe nowadays, but one of the safest and most secure routes that you could take. Um, so that was another thing, job security was definitely up there, I mean you want to make sure that you're going to work really hard for this degree, but it's going to pay off. <laughs> so guys, if you are thinking about nursing, um, I know I get comments a lot of times from people that are very young and also from people that are in their 30s, 40s, even 50s, sometimes 60s. Um, if you're thinking about it, just, just take that step and just try it out. You have no idea what the steps today um, will take you in 10, 20, 30 years from now. Um, my slogan is this is just kind of what I say to myself, life is too long not to go for what you want. And I did not develop that attitude until after working in the hospital. And I see people that are 70s through 90s, even in their hundreds, you know, totally vital and full of life. And I see people that are 40 years old on their deathbeds. Age is just a number and it's something that we, we can't look at. You know, um, I remember I started college at 22 and all I could do was go 22, 22 14, 5, 26. And I kept counting and counting the number of years on my hand and you know finally I just realized that it just doesn't matter. Just follow your heart, um, go by how you feel, it's not about age, it's not about anything except how you feel and the more you challenge yourself the more vital you're going to feel because you're, you're fully experiencing everything that life has to offer. 
Um, so if you guys are interested in nursing or if you're interested in advancing your career as a nurse, like let's say you have your LPN or your associate degree RN, so if you're looking into becoming a bachelor's to prepared nurse, then I definitely recommend that you check out this website called rntobsm.org. It's a great website that's going to help you with a lot of information on how to obtain a degree in nursing. So definitely check that out. Also, when you go over there, you might see a familiar face because I did do a video series for them. So guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I can't wait to see you guys again soon. Love you. Bye.